you do have the right to know your rights. And until you know them and exercise them, you will lose them. And we live in a world where trained cops are allowed to panic and act on impulse but untrained civilians are expected to stay calm and follow directions while a gun is in their face. And that's kind of strange, right? But it reflects the power we have given our law enforcement over us. And it doesn't matter who's on the other end of the gun. It doesn't matter. But you're expected to change. You're expected to be calm and do everything an officer tells you to do. When the officer who may panic and shoot and claim, well, he's a big black guy, he seems scary to me, gives you the right to just shoot him. And then ask questions later about whether I had a weapon or not. We're living in crazy times nowadays. But how do we reconcile this stuff? Because the law's not going to change it for us. It's us. It's us. It's all down to us, our behavior. We've got to change our narrative. So, here's the way this works. If an officer comes up to you, the one question you ask, I don't care what the situation is, is, I am my free to leave. So they walk up to you, hey, hey you, stop, or pull you over in the car. Hey you, give me your ID. Here's my ID, but am I free to leave? Now you may think, well that's ridiculous, because of course the cop just pulled you over, Keith. What the hell are you talking about? But you have to ask this question because it defines the parameters of the conversation. It's no longer a consensual encounter depending on what the officer says. Because if the officer in a traffic stop, in a public place, you're in the mall, at your house, over the phone, any time, if the answer is no, you're not free to leave, you are now detained under the Constitution. You may not be cuffed, you may be sitting in your car, but it's now a detention under the law. And the only question is, or the answer is, I want a lawyer. If the answer is no, I want a lawyer. You know why? Because those are magic words. When you say, I want a lawyer, the officer must stop interrogating, stop what they're doing. And here's how it works on a traffic stop. Cop pulls you over. I'm not saying anything. You know why? Because I don't have to right then. Because whatever is going to happen is going to happen. If they've got probable cause to arrest you, they're going to do it whether you said something or not. The only reason they want you to talk is to admit to a crime. Because here's the point. You don't fight your battle, your legal battle on the street corner. You don't fight it in the interrogation room. You fight it when you get your lawyer, and your lawyer looks at everything and says, they had no cause to stop you. So, Martin Luther King, what did he say? Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Malcolm X, my hero, what did he say? The future belongs to those who prepare for it today. So what you're doing is just preparing for your future right now. And then there was another great man. What did he say? And who, who is this guy? Because I believe that if you change yourselves, we can change this world. It's all about us and our behavior. It isn't about judging across the aisle. It's about what are you going to do? Because uh, I say the real test of a righteous person is one who can remain righteous even when those around them are not. And that's who I want to be. Oh, you can do things to me, I don't care. But I will remain righteous. I will exercise my rights. I will do what I have to do. I will defend my clients to the end. And we're all walking in the same direction. And as soon as we start moving in different paths, which is what certain things want you to do, then we get off the major path. And that would be a crime. Thank you, guys.